friends this is priyanka today we are going to solve a problem on turning moment diagrams and flywheel for a petrol engine we are going to solve a problem by using simple formulas instead of using complicated formulas so please watch this video till end now first i will read what is the given problem The turning moment diagram for a petrol engine is shown in the following scales. Turning moment 1 mm is equal to 5 Newton meter. Crank angle 1 mm is equal to 1 degree. The turning moment diagram repeats itself at every half revolution of the engine and the areas above and below the mean turning moment line taken in order are 295 Six eighty five, forty, three forty, nine sixty, two seventy millimeter square. The rotating parts are equivalent to a mass of thirty six kilogram at a radius of gyration of one fifty millimeter. Determine the coefficient of fluctuation of speed when the engine runs at eighteen hundred rpm. So this was the given question. If we observe the question, we have to calculate what is the coefficient of fluctuation of speed. So we will use here basic formula: maximum fluctuation of energy is equal to two into mean kinetic energy of flywheel multiplied by coefficient of fluctuation of speed. So if we observe, we have to first calculate what is the maximum fluctuation of energy. and for that here the diagram is given that is the energy related to that is given and we can calculate what is the maximum fluctuation then here 2 into mean kinetic energy of flywheel so on the right hand side if we observe here 2 multiplied by so what is the mean kinetic energy of flywheel so kinetic energy if we consider the linear motion then half mv square so in the same way we will convert it into rotational motion because the flywheel is rotating so half into m so instead of mass we will take mass moment of inertia that is i and instead of v that is velocity we will consider here the omega so omega is the mean velocity so we will consider here half i omega square multiplied by coefficient of fluctuation of speed so we will use therefore here the rotation c to the base is now we have to find out what is i and what is omega for this flywheel so if we observe the given data then here the mass of the flywheel is given radius of gyration is also given so we have to take this radius of gyration in meter that is 0.15 meter so from that we can calculate this i so if we simplify this uh, right hand side then this 2 2 is getting cancelled so m i is equal to m k square that is 36 multiplied by 0.15 square multiplied by omega so what how we can take the omega that is the mean angular velocity of this flywheel so if we observe here the n is given so n is equal to 1800 rpm so this is the rotational speed is given so from that we can calculate omega that is 2 pi n by 60 which is equal to 188.52 rad per second so we will take here 188.52 square multiplied by c is so this is the right hand side that is getting completed and we have to find out this c is that is the coefficient of fluctuation of speed now how to find out the maximum fluctuation of energy so this is the turning moment diagram that is on this vertical axis or y axis turning moment is given and on this horizontal axis the displacement or we can say crank angle is given so here scale is also mentioned and these are the areas that are mentioned here so if we observe this is the area that is starting from this point a and end set b that is 295 mm square here this is from b to c 685 mm square 40 mm square 340 mm square 960 mm square and 270 mm square now what is the scale that that is taken so for this turning moment 1 mm is equal to 
five newton meter. And for this crank angle, one millimeter is equal to one degree. So this is the scale given, and these areas are given in millimeter square. So how we can calculate the area? So if we observe this diagram, that is y axis and x axis, that is this turning moment and crank angle theta. So we know that how to calculate the area for this turning moment diagram. That is area is equal to torque into theta. So this is the formula. That is T multiplied by theta. That is here this turning moment and here this theta. So this area is nothing but in millimeter square. Suppose we will refer this scale. That is on y axis one millimeter square and on x axis one millimeter. Then this one millimeter multiplied by one millimeter. That is area is equal to one millimeter square, which is equal to now this torque. So for one millimeter torque is five newton meter multiplied by this theta is one degree. So we can say that now this theta that is given in degree, but we have to take it or we have to consider it in radians. So that is the rule. That is when we are going to calculate this area, then we have to calculate consider this in radians. So how to convert this one degree in radians? That is five into one into pi by one eighty. So here, if we observe for one millimeter square area, what is the formula we have to use? Pi multiplied by one into pi by one eighty. Then pi by thirty six newton meter is the area for one millimeter square. So this is important. So this is the basic calculation. Now we will find out what is the maximum fluctuation of energy. So how to calculate the maximum fluctuation of energy? So for that we have to first calculate what is the energy at these different points. That is energy at point A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then we have to compare all the energies, and in between that we have to cal find out what is the maximum energy and what is the minimum energy, and the difference in between that will give us the maximum fluctuation. So fluctuation means what? We have to take the maximum fluctuation. So first we will consider here what is the Or we have to calculate here what is the energy at these different points. So we will first consider total energy at A. So A is the initial point. So total energy at A is equal to E. So this is the notation that we will consider. So initially this energy is not given. So we will consider this energy is E. Then energy at B. So this is the line, and above that line here. we have to add the energy and if the energy is below the line then we have to subtract the energy so here energy at b so from a to b here is the curve given and that is 295 so we will say e plus 295 then energy at c so e plus 295 minus 685 So again, we will simplify this. So 295 minus 685 that is equal to E minus 390. Then energy at D. So if we observe again, we have to add here 40. So E minus 390 plus 40. So minus 390 plus 40 means minus 350. So E minus 350. Next is energy at E. That is E minus 350, and here 340 is below the line, so we will take here again minus 340. That is equal to E minus 690. Then energy at F, so we have to add this 960. So E minus 690 plus 960, which is equal to E plus 270, and energy at G, that is equal to E plus 270 minus 270, that is equal to E. So these are the energies at different points. Now we have to compare these energies, and we have to select the maximum energy and minimum energy. And the difference in between that will give us the maximum fluctuation of energy. So if we observe here, here is the maximum energy. So here E plus two ninety five and E plus two seventy. These are the two points which is having energy plus some amount of energy here. So this two ninety five number is more. So we will consider this is the maximum energy. 
and now we have to select the minimum energy so for the minimum energy if we refer or compare these three points e minus 390 e minus 350 and e minus 690 so here from e this large number is getting subtracted that is 690 so it will give us the minimum energy so here we will refer this is the minimum energy now we will take the difference in between that so here maximum fluctuation of energy that is maximum energy e plus 295 minus second bracket e minus 690 so we have to take here the bracket for the calculation so if we simplify this we will get here e plus 295 minus e plus 690 so if we remove the bracket this minus sign we have to take the inside or multiply with inside so e plus 295 minus e plus 690 so this e, e will get in cancel so 295 plus 690 that is equal to 985 millimeters square so this is the maximum fluctuation of energy but it is in the form of area so we have to consider it in newton meter so for that we have the relation 1 millimeter square is equal to pi by 36 newton meter so we have to multiply this with 985 so 985 into pi by 36 that is the maximum fluctuation of energy which is equal to now we have to calculate all this so if we calculate this we will get 28787 cs cs that is the coefficient of fluctuation of speed now it is easy for us to calculate cs so when we calculate this we will get 0 0.003 and when we multiply this with 100 it will give us the percentage that is 0.3% and this is the answer